Hello! In this video, we're going to be using uh, Python Mega Widgets in order to create tooltips for our Tkinter interfaces. So I went ahead and I created this very basic interface here, this very basic GUI. And what we have is a lovely title, um, an input box, and an output label, and our process button. So it's very, it performs very simple function. All I do is I, I type in a word, e.g. keyboard, okay? I click process and it's outputted the console and it's also outputted um, onto the screen. So very simple, very simple program. Um, but we're going, it's not very intuitive to the user. The, the issue is we don't have any sort of instruction um, in order to tell the user what will happen if, we, if they click the process button, because all it says is process. So um, what we can do is we can use tooltips um, using Python Mega Widgets. So very first thing you need to do whenever you're using um, a library is obviously import it. So we'll do import p p m w, which is fine. There we go. It's done. And then, of course. You would should always um, if we're using Python Mega Widgets just on the root widget. I think uh, we will just on the root frame. We just need to do uh, pmw dot initialize um, initialize root, and I'll f I'll try and find out what that actually does. But uh, in the meantime, just use it. Um, I believe it. Um, it it sort of. Ha um, Helps the helps the library know what's going on. It knows what root is essentially. So, yeah, just keep just just use that. Uh, put that in. Obviously, uh, you can leave it out, but I would strongly advise putting it in so you don't get unexpected errors. Just just put it in. Um, and then what we need to do is create a tooltip. Now in PMW Python Mega Widgets, this is not really called tooltips. Uh, I have to search around for this. Um, they're actually called balloons, uh, funny enough. So the, the widgets themselves are called balloons. So um, so this should, whenever you put in your tooltips, it should probably be like at the very, at the end. You can either do it um, whenever you're defining your label or your entry box. You can put the tooltip immediately afterwards. So you could, you could say tooltip for title or something like that underneath the title declaration or you can leave it to the end over here it's really up to you once all the ver all the or the all the widgets are you uh, have been in instantiated um so i'm going to do it at the bottom just for simplicity's sake so uh so we'll just we'll make a wave balloons and we'll just call it tool tips in brackets so let's begin now, to create a, to create a balloon, all you have to do is uh, name the balloon. So we're saying my my tool. Well, let's let's call it a process tooltip because we're gonna we'll we'll, we'll um, rename the uh, we'll we'll add the tooltip to the um, process button and we'll say equals and we're going to say it is a PMW uh, widget, which it is. So we're going to have to reference PMW and we're just going to type balloon. Okay. Now, of course, with every widget, you need to put in the frame. In this case, the main frame that I have, it's not root, it's called interface. So we're just going to call it interface. You can see up here, there's interface. So we're going to say interface. Okay. Brilliant. Um, okay. So we've got our. Um, tooltip. If we click run, uh, nothing's happening. And that's because uh, we've not bound the balloon uh, to the widget we want to have the tooltip in. So um, let's do that now. It's very simple. All we have to do is do reference the reference the tooltip. As you can see, we've got the name there. And then um, we do a dot bind. Now you may have seen dot bind whenever you're doing key binds. This is now we're binding the Tkinter widget 
the 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 balloon widget to a uh, counter widget. In this case, it's going to be process button. So, what you have to do is pass in the name of the widget that you want to bind it to, which is process button. And you can see here, we've defined process button as the normal button, your normal standard button. There we go. So, let's say, um, so with that, then you put a comma there and you put in the, in the next argument, you say you want to write what you, you want the tooltip to say. It's very simple. So, um, let's say um, process button, okay? So, let's see. Let's see what this says now. We'll run it here. Okay, so normal interface. Whenever my mouse mouse is over this, it says process button. A, a tooltip appears. Um, that's not a very good tooltip though, um, because it's just saying the name of the thing. Uh, so we'll we'll say uh, we'll say process button. And because I believe this inherits from this, you know, as you know, uh, Python Mega. If you've watched the previous video. Uh, on this topic, Python Mega Widgets, um, they are constructed from Tikinter Widgets. So, I believe, now don't quote me on this, but I believe, I believe that they're constructed using, like, the text widget. So, you can do multi-line stuff. So, we can say process widget. And then, we can do slash n. Now, I know this is a sh string, but yes, you can do you use the slash n character to take a new line. And then we can say um, this button, this 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 button will make your inputted word appear in the output label. I mean section. Let's just call it section because user the user will probably not know what a label is. So we'll we'll do that. And when I run this. You can see we've got process button. This button will make your inputted word appear in the output section. So, again, very, very simple, this widget. Um, very, very easy to use. Um, so, it's not just buttons you can do this for. I want to make this very clear. It will work on any type of widget. Uh, so, let's let's say, for example, uh, let's say, well, let's run it. Let's run and see where should we put a Wii interface. We don't really need an interface tooltip for the title. I think that's self-explanatory. What about putting a label here? Because the the user doesn't really know what to put in here. So, let's 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 bind a tooltip to the entry box. Uh, so let's do this. So we'll say entry tooltip. Again, there's no real convention for naming these. So anyway. PMW dot balloon interface. Cool. And then we'll do entry tooltip dot bind process not process button. Sorry, my mistake. I was <laughs> copying that line there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. What do we call it? Uh, not the label. Not that. No, first entry, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's first entry. So, this is the name of the entry box called first entry. So, first entry, that's what we're binding this tooltip to. And then we're going to put in the message. Oh, sorry. All right. Uh, put in the message. So, uh, please input um, a word. Okay? So, I'll put full stops there. So, yeah, please input a word. We'll run that there. So, yeah, that still works. And then, yes, if we mouse over the entry box, you can see, uh, please input a word. Yeah. So, that works on an entry box. And to further drive home that this works on any widget, I'll, try, I'll put one on the label just for the sake of it. So, we'll say label tooltip equals pmw dot balloon uh, interface and then we will say label tool tip e dot bind uh, let's put it on the output label um, now it'll be interesting to see actually if that will work because the output label may not appear initially because um, because uh, of course it doesn't well, it is instantiated, but it doesn't have a hold of value, so it might not be. Mm, you might not be able to mouse over it. 
uh, but we'll see. This is this is this is well, this will be an interesting test. So we'll say output label, and uh, we'll we'll label it. We'll name it something. Oh, let's say um, here is your outputted word. Let's say that. So we'll run this here. So as you can see, yeah, no tooltip is appearing here because there is no the label is instantiated, but um, there's no word there. There's no with it, with it, there's no size there essentially. So there's nothing to mouse over. But if I say oh, I don't know, uh, let's just put my name in process. Uh, there we go. We've got my we've got our label there. Here is your outputted word. So yeah, so pretty pretty darn useful. Uh, pretty darn useful. Um, a little widget here. So now this um interface is very 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 well it still looks pretty bad but it, it it it's 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 much more intuitive to the user now what's going on um all right so yeah that's that's how you make a simple uh, tooltip and i will see you in the next video thank you bye